everyone, welcome to day three of our vlog. I am really excited to be back at Magic Kingdom today. I just love walking up Main Street and seeing the castle. Today we're hoping to definitely get on some rides. We're gonna have some food in the park, but we also have a dining reservation at Whispering Canyon Cafe at Wilderness Lodge. So we're gonna take a break midday, head over there and enjoy some AC and relax. But we can't wait to share the whole day with you. Good morning. How are you? Wonderful, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> We made it, we are in Magic Kingdom. It is early morning and we are gonna go and explore, do a bunch of rides and just kind of wander around for a while. Yeah, I'm also gonna need a snack at some point because we didn't have breakfast, but yeah. yeah. I'm and so excited! It, yeah, it's exciting to be back and this afternoon we're gonna go to Whispering Canyon for a break from the heat for lunch, but other than that, no real plans, just gonna enjoy the day. Yeah, let's do it! All right. We just got into the park about 10 after 9, maybe 20 after 9, and there are very low crowds here on Main Street, so it's easy to keep yourself comfortable, wander down, get some pictures. You can easily find some space where you could have a PhotoPass cast member take a picture with nobody behind you. It's a really fun experience with these low crowd levels, and it looks like it's going to be a fun day. So Jeff and I were hoping to do seven, or not seven doors, we were hoping to do Big Thunder Mountain first today, but it's temporarily closed and I don't believe it's for a cleaning because the park just opened. But just an idea of the other wait time, so Seven Dwarfs Mine Train is 30 minutes, Splash Mountain is 20 minutes, uh, Pirates and Jungle Cruise are both 15, and then everything else is 10 or less. So most stuff is five minute wait or um, practically no wait, that means. So we're going to walk around and maybe pop on something. We're walking over to do a new fun ride for us, but on the way, this is the queue for Seven Dwarfs, and it's about 30 minutes. We're definitely gonna do this one later on, but not right now. We've got something else planned for first ride in the morning since Thunder Mountain wasn't open. We're here for our first ride, and we're in Storybook Landing. We are gonna go on Dumbo. I honestly don't remember the last time I've been on this, but something fun to do here. There's no line, so Sarah and I are gonna hop on. Here we go. Inside the tent, there's a cast member that tells you which side to go to. So both sides are currently running. So she just directed us to this one side and we're about to get on it. Here we go on Dumbo. Sarah's behind me, we each have our own vehicle and what a way to start the morning. Hey, this is such a good view. What a thrilling morning. <laughs> Here we are. It's, it is a pretty cool view up here. It's got a nice breeze. This is a lot of fun. I'm so glad we came on it because it really hasn't been probably five to ten years since we've been on this one. And what a better way to start than a no wait ride on Dumbo. We just got off of Dumbo and it's actually a better view than I realized. Um, and we figured we might as well knock out the rest of the stuff in Storybrooke Circus. So we're going to pop on Barnstormer because it looked like there wasn't anyone on it really. So we're going to do that and then go from there. We are in queue for Barnstormer. There is no real wait. We're just gonna wander up through here. We'll show you Tron when we get up here because it's a pretty cool view from back in this area. But then we're gonna get on the ride. This is the Tron construction. You can see it behind Space Mountain. And you can see that the building is really far along. The track's coming pretty good, but there is no exterior done yet for the lighted like dome area, but it's coming along pretty well.
Barnstormer. Um, and so Dumbo and that are the only thing back here really to do because the store currently is not open. So we're gonna go wander to the front of the park, maybe do another ride. I definitely am gonna look for some kind of snack for breakfast and keep exploring. It is though getting pretty hot. So eventually we'll start looking for those AC rides. It's still relatively early in the morning. The wait time for Seven Dwarves is only 30 minutes and the line is just gonna get longer in our experience and it's just gonna get hotter out waiting in that line. So we're gonna hop on this real quick before we try and find some food and some AC stuff because we love this ride and honestly 30 minutes is a pretty short wait to get on this one. Hey, now don't forget, when you climb aboard the train, stay seated with your hands. Seven Dwarfs and that is such a fun ride. Uh, we got really lucky and got front row. I feel like you either want front row or last row. Last row is maybe a bit more intense but front row has awesome views because um, nobody's in front of you and so that one again really fun 30 minutes not bad wait. We're gonna now grab some Pecos Bill. I don't know if we'll each get our own thing or split something but we just need some kind of food because we're not gonna make it until our like late lunch early dinner so that's still a ways away. So we're gonna do that, eat, relax. We might wander around a bit, do another couple of rides and just enjoy the day. It is really quiet back here in Frontierland. We're just wandering over to Pecos Bill in the distance. We'll grab that food and then I don't know what we'll get up to, but so far it's been an awesome morning. We've done a few different things. We've enjoyed walking around with very low crowds. I absolutely loved going on Dumbo again for the first time in years. And if the afternoon's anything like this morning, it's gonna be a good day. We just got over to Pecos Bill, so again, it's mobile order only. So once we got here, I had already placed our order, so I just said, I'm here, prepare your order, and now it's saying we're preparing it. So hopefully we'll be ready soon, we can head on in. We just came inside, and now we're waiting uh, to get called up to the window to go pick up our food. We just got our food from Pecos Bill, so these are the pork nachos that Jeff got. Over here are gonna be like the toppings. Um, so they don't have the toppings bar open right now. So they're just putting the stuff on the side. And then this is my chicken bowl. So it has the rice, the black beans, peppers, and onions. Um, and then we just got a Diet Coke with it. And we found the perfect spot uh, to come sit where no one is around us. So we'll give you kind of an overview. Yeah, so there's no one here. This is perfect. I took my mask off because I was just drinking some of the water and I'm ready for some food. bill and it was really good so it is a lot of food I think the meals were about $12 each um, but we're both very happy it was very good Jeff liked the nachos I like the rice bowl uh, now we're gonna go wander around uh, get on some more rides and just enjoy the day we haven't walked through this store in a while so we're gonna pop in and check it out see what merchandise they have As we're walking past Adventureland, we're going to the hub and the treehouse. So Stanley Robinson treehouse is here. There's zero people in it. It's pretty well shaded. So I think we're gonna hop through there. It looks like there's no weight as well, which is nice. So we are gonna go explore the treehouse and make our way up to the hub to check out the castle again in a little bit. One thing 
Jeff and I always like joke about, but if Disney ever let us, we would totally do it, is we wish we could spend the night in this treehouse. It's just beautiful up here. You have a view of the castle on the other side and it would just be such an amazing experience. <laughs> We just finished up our quick tour of the treehouse and now we're going to head to Main Street to see if we can maybe catch a couple characters and if not, we'll at least check out the castle and maybe grab a photo pass. I don't know. We'll kind of just wander around and see what's up. Mickey and all his friends. Um, so those little like, I guess they're not parades, the, like cavalcade type of things, the floats that go through are a really fun way of seeing the characters where it's just kind of spontaneous that they're coming through, but it's great character interactions because there's not many people. So a lot of them will wave at you, but we love them. We're just heading out of Magic Kingdom and we're gonna go over and grab a bite to eat at Wilderness Lodge. We have a reservation at Whispering Canyon. After that, we are coming back here for the night. The park closes at seven, so we'll be closing out the park and planning on taking some photos after that. But thanks for following along this morning and this afternoon, and tonight we will be back here for more fun. All right, so we just wanted to pause real quick, take advantage of nobody around the train station and just maybe we might take a picture, but we're just enjoying these low crowds. Yeah, it is just absolutely empty out here. You can see in the background, but here's the train station and it's not that often that in the middle of the day you can come out here and get a photo or a picture with nobody else around you. So it's a pretty fun experience. We just got here to the Wilderness Lodge. We're gonna go in for our dining reservation at Whispering Canyon. We're both really excited. This is one of our favorite restaurants here. I love to get the unlimited barbecue platter. Sarah has a bunch of different items she likes. It's just a fun atmosphere, and we are gonna be one of the last reservations here available for lunch, and we're gonna have a good time. Here we are, we just got into Wilderness Lodge. If you're not familiar with Whispering Canyon, it's the restaurant right off the lobby here. As you come in, it's to your left. And here's the rest of the lobby. I think it's one of the best lobbies in all the Disney properties. It's just gorgeous, it's enormous. If you have a chance to come here during the winter and you can see a Christmas tree, that is an amazing sight to see. But here we are, and we're gonna probably walk around for just a minute. We've got about five minutes or so until our reservation is ready. And here is the rest of the lobby. There's just so many awesome details in this lobby. The lighting. Over here is an actual waterway. It goes under this bridge and actually goes right through that wall, leads all the way down to the pool area. Over in the distance, you can see a fireplace. I'll show you that as we get a little bit closer. There's just tons of details everywhere. Even the chandeliers, I believe, I've been told are handmade by local artisans. And it's just details everywhere. Here's that fireplace. It's an awesome place to sit, especially during the colder months. But it is also enormous, fits very well with the lobby. When we were at Disney for opening weekend about a month ago, um, we actually spent our first night here at Wilderness Lodge, but we stayed at the DVC part, so the Copper Creek is what it's called. Um, but if you wanna see what a room looks like there and see our kind of stay here, I will do a link and you can kind of click up there and check it out. Over here by the store in the lobby, we have Mickey, Goofy, Donald, and a bear as a pretty awesome totem pole over here. Then I think we'll head into the mercantile store and see what merchandise they have. Here's that same little thing as a Christmas ornament. It's awesome. I think we probably would have picked this one up if we hadn't already gotten one this trip. I like some of the themed clothing they have here as well. Like this is a pretty cool t-shirt. I've never seen it anywhere else. 
And then I like the bears on the Wilderness Lodge shirt. We've just got some hats and some women's clothing. I also like this bear shirt, bear crossing. It's not Disney specific, but it is sold here at the Wilderness Lodge. And then here's the children's shirt, again with that same totem pole. And then because Copper Creek is attached to the same lobby as Wilderness Lodge, we have all of their merchandise available here as well. I'm so glad that we just popped into that store. It is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. They have a ton of really awesome Wilderness Lodge stuff. I think my favorite thing is they have an ornament in there that looks like the totem pole out here. So as the characters kind of stacked onto each other and it's one of my favorite ornaments I think I've ever seen. So if you're over here, I definitely think it's like worth just popping in to check out. We just got to the restaurant. So on, um, or I guess with the way Disney does it now is you go into the app, you go to your reservation, you say, I'm here. And then you just are, we're now waiting for a text message, which actually I think just came in. And so our table's ready, we can go on up. We just got to our table here at Whispering Canyon. So as soon as we got that text, we walked up. Um, before we actually came into the restaurant, they checked our temperatures. So they're not checking your temperatures to come into the resort, but apparently if you're coming into the restaurant, they are checking them there. Our waiter brought us over, we got waters, and then we just ordered our drinks. So I got a raspberry mojito, uh, Jeff got a Mai Tai, so we have those. We're about to put in our food orders. But the other thing I really like about here is our table is in a great location. So it's not busy in here and we have plenty of space. Given the very rustic feel, we want the most rustic drinks we could find. So Jeff went with a Mai Tai and I got a raspberry mojito. So just kidding, it's like we're at the beach, but I'm gonna give it a try. All right. Oh yes, that is delicious. I did the skillet platter. It comes with cornbread, ribs, chicken, mashed potatoes, corn, carrots, mixed vegetables, and green beans. And Sarah did the turkey sandwich, and it has a side of fruit. All right, I took a small bite, but I'm gonna take another one right now just to let you guys know what I think. It's awesome. So, the turkey sandwich is amazing. Jeff also tried his skillet, and he said everything he has is really good too. So, two thumbs up. We just got both of our milkshakes as well. I got a caramel one, Sarah got strawberry. I've already tried mine and they're really good, but they're all you can drink and I'll just keep them coming. We just finished up our meal and it is just us and one other party here at Whispering Canyon. So it cleared out pretty quickly. We just finished up our meal at Whispering Canyon Cafe, and honestly, I knew it was good and we liked going there, but <laughs> it was even better than I remembered. It was so good, what'd you think? Yeah, the skill I got, the unlimited barbecue was awesome, the drinks, the alcoholic drinks were good, the milkshakes were great, the cast members were awesome as always, it was quiet, and yeah, I have nothing bad to say. It was an awesome experience, but we always knew we liked going there, so I'm glad we got back there this trip. Yeah, me too, it was really fun. Um, they can't do come, some of the silly things they used to do. So if you've been in the past, they'll do like the we need ketchup and people will run ketchup. So they're not doing yeah. that currently. We didn't see the unlimited milkshakes on the menu at first. So that's why we went for alcoholic drinks at first. And then we saw them bring them out. We're like, we made a mistake. We need those too. Um, and I'm so glad we got them. The strawberry one, I love. Do you like strawberry or caramel better? Um, I think strawberry is better, but caramel was awesome too. But it doesn't even matter because they're unlimited and you can switch flavors each time. So, you know, if you didn't like one, get a different one after. Yeah, that's true. So I guess my main takeaway is if you're looking for a break from Magic Kingdom especially, um, this is a really good option. It's not that far. You can take lots of different ways of getting here. Yeah. So uh, would you say this or Kona from last trip? Which one do you pick? If you this had one. To? This one's more fun. This okay. one's definitely better, I think. Yeah, I liked it too. It was really Kona was awesome last trip as well, yeah. but I think they're both great options. But it looks like rain, so we're going to see, I guess, what we're going to do next. Yeah, we're gonna kind of play it by ear, but it does look like it's gonna rain for a while, so we may hang out here in the lobby, we may head back to the hotel, or we may just go over to Magic Kingdom right now. We don't really know. We're gonna check out the radar and just kind of play things 
you know, one step at a time because yeah. we do not want to just go stand in the rain again, not after yesterday. <laughs> no, we do still have that po poncho though. So I guess yep. worst case we could break it out, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, lunch was awesome. Yep, absolutely awesome. <laughs> and just like that, we're back at Magic Kingdom. It is beautiful out now, so the temperature definitely dropped. The downside is rain is coming and there's lightning happening behind Jeff's head right now. So we'll see how long we make it without getting downpour down, but hopefully we can do some indoor rides and avoid it a bit. We're back in the parks. It's late afternoon. There are very, very low crowds, partly because it's later in the day, but also because there are giant storms rolling in behind us. So I think people are kind of calling it a day. We are gonna hang out here for as long as we can. Uh, once it gets to be really stormy out, that's probably when we'll call it quits. But until then, we're gonna try and get on a few more rides and enjoy the afternoon for as long as we can. We've got a whole group of Disney ducks all prepping for the rain coming in. They're so cute. We're gonna head through Adventureland. I think we're gonna try and get on Pirates and then we're gonna work our way around to Haunted Mansion, maybe Peter Pan. We're just gonna kind of see what the rain situation looks like, but we're focusing on all the indoor rides right now because we do not want to get caught outside on one of these rides or in one of the lines outdoors when this storm finally does hit and it does look like it's on its way here pretty soon. We're just about to get onto Pirates. We have row number one, and then they're leaving lots of seats and only putting the next group at the very back of the boat. about 20 minutes even though it said 25 minutes on it um the ride was really good they had a spread we got the front row so that was perfect and the rain is still not here or it's holding off a little bit so we're gonna make our way i think over to haunted and do that one next um but it's really quiet here which is really nice so it seems like we'll hopefully have a good night if the rain holds off we are headed over to Haunted Mansion. We just took a little stroll by Splash Mountain and Thunder Mountain. And because of the weather, they are closing all the outdoor rides. Thunder Mountain was allowing people into the queue. They weren't evacuating it, but they did say it wasn't actually gonna be running. If you wanted to go wait, you could. We considered it, but with this weather, we didn't think it was gonna be worthwhile. So we are gonna continue to head over to Haunted Mansion, but it does look like that weather's coming in and a lot of the rides are closing down. So it's a good idea to stick inside, we thought, and that's what we're gonna continue to do. We made it over to Haunted Mansion. It's starting to rain a little bit so we can feel it, but we're gonna go in here. It says it's only 15 minute wait, even though the line is outside. So we are gonna go on and check out the ghosts. Yeah, the crowds are really low today, especially this afternoon. We're able to go on just about anything we want with a minimal weight. It's just been a really fun day, especially now this afternoon, even though the rain does seem to be coming, the temperature has cooled down so much that, I mean, it feels like it's maybe low 80s at best. It's not humid. 
it's an absolutely perfect day for just wandering around the park and enjoying yourself. And this has been one of my best days in Magic Kingdom that I've had in quite a while, even dating back to before the closure. And I'm just hoping the rest of the night goes as well as so far has. Yeah, I agree. It's been really fun. So, yeah. all right, well, we'll go get on another ride probably. This is about as short as you will find Peter Pan. So we are definitely going to go hop on this one. 10 minutes. My guess is it's more of a walk on. Here we are in the Darling's house. We got the beds over here. Oh, and the interactive bells are turned off. That's too bad. Normally there's some bells up there. If you hit the shadow of them, they play music. And over here we have the other bed. This is a really good queue. Normally you have a lot of time in here, but today it's just the two of us. So we're kind of just taking our time. Oh, Sarah's pretending the bells are working, but they're not. <laughs> Right outside, it is raining, so we got off and Jeff's like, it's raining. I'm like, no, it's not. He's like, yes, it is. Look. I'm like, okay, it is. So we're just hanging out underneath a cover for right now. We'll see what it kind of looks like, and then we'll go from here, hopefully get on another couple of rides, but it's getting close to park close, um, so we'll keep you guys posted. We are now in line for Little Mermaid. Um, Jeff and I were just laughing because this ride has the best AC, and it's hot. And I feel like before we didn't used to go on this ride that much, but now it's like one of our go-to rides. So it's hot out. We're going to go in, relax, enjoy the AC, and go uh, under the sea with Ariel. Like this particular thing, human echoologist thing is the shell of a fierce prehistorical creature called a uh, Hoggins Wazler. We're on it. We're about to go and see Little Mermaid. <laughs> that make you not a fish. Legs. That's what this story's all about. Okay, so we are going to call it. We were really lucky and the rain held off. It's been an amazing day. We have really enjoyed being back here at Magic Kingdom. Thank you all so much for following along with us. We really appreciate it. Um, we are going to Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure tomorrow, so something a little bit different. Um, we are really looking forward to going back there. Uh, it's been a while since we've been there and we like the parks. We're not huge into the screen rides, but we still enjoy like walking around and exploring it. So we'll look forward to sharing that with you guys next. But thank you all again so much for following along. It was really fun.